What up? This is Ray Vic, and you're now listening to Sugar Mama Radio. You're now tuned back into Sugar Mama Radio. It's your girl, Shanna Nicole, and Shamika Chantel. We are chilling. We finally got money to come in. El Chapo Game. How are you feeling? I'm cool, man. I'm cool, man. How are you? We're excellent. I want to actually thank you because I reached out to you literally at like 5 o'clock yeah. to come through <laughs> last minute to come through and chop it up with us. And here we are. You came through with the whole game. It's like 50. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's right. We definitely appreciate you coming through. Absolutely. We all love. And we got, we got the. We don't come through no way, though, man. That's good. That's well. Just before we even get started on your new mixtape, mm -hmm. how long have you been rapping? How long? How did you get started? Give us the background on money. Um, last time I was here, I was with uh, an artist by the name V. Dot. Y'all familiar? Right. And um. V Dot is like my childhood brother. Like, you know what I mean? We know each other since like the third grade. So back in the third grade, I used to sing. Okay. I was in the choir. And V Dot used to, was like the rock him of our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So he was rapping when we was young, young. And growing up, you know what I'm saying? Just for that love of the hip hop that they gave us, because it used to be him and like three other people. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I just started rapping too. And then we bumped heads. You know what I mean? Later on in the future again, because we lost contact. And right. We've been together ever since. So. Now, when we first met you, yeah. um, with crew, when you came through with crew, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, you were introduced as the singer and slash rapper. Right. Slash rapper. Mm -hmm. So, when we hear any, when we have your mixtape, right. El Chapo, mm -hmm. any singing yeah. on here, mm -hmm. everything? Uh, like, it's like a lot of background singing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also heard you was a piece of poetry. That too. Spoke word. Mm, I just freestyled. Right. Great. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That is amazing. Like, and for anyone who have not heard of money, he is so dope. We was actually prior to you coming in just now. Mm -hmm. We was telling him how we sing you at soundstage. Mm -hmm. Your energy on stage is something that a person have to experience rather than to be told in a sense. Mm -hmm. How do you keep your energy up? Because you mm -hmm. did your set and then right. you came on with Caddy, yeah. did some things with him, and it's like nonstop. Um, I don't even know, man. I, <laughs> I just be I'm just a tired individual. I'm cool right. on, you know, I'm cool and calm and all that, but I'm really like a tired individual, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to parties or when it comes to like performing, that's what right. I love. You know, even in the studio, you've been in the studio with yeah, me before, I, you know I, what I'm saying? I see your word. Even in the studio, like we, we don't, that's just what we do, so. Right. That's just what it is. I, that's all I really know. When I think of a show, all of the people that I admired that performed, you know what I mean? Right. They put on shows, literally. They, you know what I mean? Stand up on shit. They, you know, you do all of that. Excuse me for my cursing. No, trust me. We just actually, was someone we need to get a swag, y'all, because me and this bitch <laughs> is not. <laughs> We agreed to put a dial in the jaw. Right. Yeah, yeah. On the that show. That's be the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Man. So you had the whole game here with you. Mm -hmm. Tell us some of the artists. Um, tell us about some of the artists that you have with you that you want to introduce a little later in the show. Okay. Um, Chop Gang is the squad, man. Um, and the artists are, we got Benny, we got A1, um, we got Bad Boy Chaz, we got Jeezy. Grease, free Grease, that was who just hit me. Oh. He locked up. Um, we got Grease, we got... Uh, oh, shout out to Grease. He he just hit you from jail and he's going out in the beat. <laughs> shout out to Grease, we apologize. Yeah, free, he got to come through. Free, free Grease. Grease. <laughs> and uh, who else we got? We got Kwame, man. That's the newest one. He's crazy. And that's... Oh, yeah, v that v that always squad. Young J. Now, who's the, um, the chick on next date? Um... Is yeah. she Caucasian? Because she looks Caucasian. <laughs> I just want to know if she's the Iggy the Iggy of the group. No, uh, they're not even in the group actually. Uh -huh. Okay. The the mi the formula of the mixtape was all right. It was like um, Death Row, right? Uh -huh. Okay. You know, Death Row made that same cover. Uh -huh. Right. With, like Tupac, Snoop, and all of them. Yeah. Okay. And I pretty much wanted to mimic that, but I wanted to be more like about the life that I was living at the time. So I used to ride around. When I was into a whole nother situation of a whole nother life, you feel okay. me? 
I used to ride around with a white girl all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Just well, to that keep might get you locked up in some place. No, <laughs> no, but look, we actually got locked up one time just for chilling. We was just chilling, and they See? was like, it looked crazy. Up? They said it looked <laughs> crazy, so they locked both of us up, and we had some whole Wait, they locked up too? Well, they locked both of us up because it was three dudes in the car that was, you know what I mean? African American, you know what I'm saying? Black Panther Party, so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was her, so once they found like the, you know, I mean, the scripts, and it was really her sister prescription pills, but they wasn't even trying to hit up. They wasn't trying to hit up with you. No, they, they locked the white girl up. Yeah, yeah, that made me actually feel comfortable. Like, all right, they ain't gonna fuck. They ain't, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Good. Right. Yeah. So, um, besides rapping, mm -hmm. singing, poetry, spoken word, mm -hmm. is there any other? craft under your belt that you may decide to trigger into yeah um if anybody ever been to any of my shows y'all say y'all been so a lot of the attire that we wear is right. designed by me oh okay okay yeah and i actually been to the most recent show at soundstage mm -hmm. shamika actually me and shamika had something to do and it kind of fell through and i was already dropped so i came through mm -hmm. and um what was it? it was september the 6th or something the thing that's oh, going oh, okay okay Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I said I yeah. actually paid attention that time to your mm -hmm. attire. It mm -hmm. was like the paint yeah, type of look, yeah, cut yeah, up denim. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got jerseys, we got that. I got my own clothing line. That's the Chop Gang Apparel too. So a lot of the clothes that we, I mean I don't think nobody. So we have shirts said. Like, <laughs> like Man, I apologize. Oh, well, this was last minute. I swear yeah, I'm gonna get a little pants. Nah, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring a shirt in okay. a hat. Man. I got y'all. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. absolutely. Yeah. We support movements here. I got y'all. That's my word. Okay, well, listen, before we get any further, I want all our, our audience to know how dope you are. Could you spit something for us? And before you start, I'm sorry, you guys. I got to pull my phone out because I love recording. <laughs> you know, Instagram ready at all times. I'm sorry. And we are ready whenever you are. Um, well, I'm going to freestyle because I, I don't really. Last right. time I came on here, I freestyled. Too. Yeah. Uh, I'm rocking with sugar mama. I need a sugar mama. Was always taught that honeybees would teach me sugar mama. Learn from my sugar mama. How to treat a sugar mama. Ever since treating sugar mamas, all I had was sugar mama. <laughs> then I bumped into sugar mama. She asked me to be on sugar mama. So I came to sugar mama, broke the whole gang to sugar mama. Hey. Ever since we on sugar mama, me and my crew, we on sugar mama. We in the kitchen. We in, and we talking. Sugar mama. <laughs> I might have blanked out, don't mean that I blanked out. Just in case you want to blank out, don't blank out every line that I blank out. I'm just trying to take an X route, DMX route, Papa Willie DMX route. Shout out to Sheena. Ah, no, listen, that's real freestyling right there, you guys. Like, yeah, don't let's move. play some of your um. Your music? Yeah, he his single. Tell us about your single. Uh, right. My single is um flexing. Flexing is just, you know, every day in the life of a Baltimore regular dude, you know what I'm saying? They flexing. That's, that's just what, it, even if they not, they're they stunting. They flexing. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> right. it's just, Baltimore is just that. Everybody wants to be the top guy. Everybody feels like they need to be, you know what I'm saying, number one. So, so who's on the same? Was it just you? It's just me. But okay. Fetty, shout out to Fetty, that's the producer. He actually couldn't make it, but okay. you know, shout out to all of the Well, y'all had somebody that couldn't make it? Shout out to the good He's father. like, okay, you we, know what I'm we, we, we respect that. that. Out. Shout out to all the good fathers, because my man couldn't make it because he had to get his son and, and get that situation. That's so, we respect that. Shout out to, shout father, out to J. Freddy. 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 Okay, so I'm about to play. And actually, you can check out his video on um, YouTube. By the way, follow me at the King Money Music with a K at the end, not a C, on IG and Twitter. That's really the whole squad that was in there. That's why he said earlier, I ain't even a whole squad. 
Okay, so we're gonna actually put see if we can put this one out um on radioonfire.com. Uh -huh. oh, so cool. that'll be dope. So everybody out there, stay tuned. Um, radioonfire.com. Diamond K. Hey, thanks for walking in. Perfect timing. Will we be able to? I was there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Will we be able to post a video on um Ready on Fire? We got the thumbs up, you guys. So flexing out chop of money. Jay Fetty will be on RadioOnFire.com. Yeah, yeah. There we Check go. Out. <laughs> now, where was this? Um, we were looking at the video on YouTube. Right. Where was it um, shot at? Drill Pop. Really? We just found okay. the most distinctive part that you will never see. Right. <laughs> no, was, yeah, absolutely. Is that the money dance? No, yeah, listen. You know what I'm saying? You got to get that. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what I was you about to ask. Yeah, the he did that on yeah. stage. When I say. Yeah, on stage. We all do that, yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like a skip. I you, when it's you like ask everybody, you ask everybody when they come in here, like, what is the why? And eventually they just start getting done, just start doing it. Everybody does. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you had to teach me and Shamika once a week. I got week. you. No, once I'm we get off of here, we're going to have to. You know, I do classes once a week on Thursdays and Fridays. No, Friday. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> when it come through hip hop dance. Right. Yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't call for any feet movements. I got two left feet. Right? No feet. You're standing still. It's just, it's just the hip. You just, oh, I got that. No, what about the skipping? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is yeah. that? Yeah. Like, you know, that's a whole nother level of situation. <laughs> Alright, so you we gotta, gotta start with the beginning first. first. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta get situated first for that one. So inside of here, are you wearing your clothing? Yeah, I actually am. Um, okay, the so yeah, and I'll the clothing, out. The pants, Everyone the in the video is wearing. Everybody in the video, the right. t-shirts that they got on. Great brand and marketing. Yeah. So let me ask you this. What is more important to you, the money or the work? The money? Um the, just to fill in on the squad. The squad is really my everyday brothers. You know, just so happen they rap too. Okay. So, um, when I bring everybody together and we all decided, some of them is, some people are new, like two people are new. But when I bring them all together and we decided to do it, you know, every day is really what we be together. Every day. Every day we chill together. Every day we make sure we know we check in and do what else. So right. the whole Chapo brand is really branding everybody. You know, that's why when you asked me the question, I was like, man, you might as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. To me, that's my family. So right. I want to ride off to my family. So to get me is to get everybody. That's dope. That's Ooh. just like sugar mama. No, you know absolutely. Y'all ride together. Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? So with, that's the same thing. Without a doubt. Who has influenced you? Who's like some um, big influences? Man, we are the new Wu Tang. Wu Tang influenced us. Okay. We got we got an old dirty bastard. That's wild. He oh, ain't here. Oh, Lord. Shout out to Drills. Shout out to Drills. He wild. Y'all see him, man. He wild. So he we got me Drills. Yes. He is wild. <laughs> we need a, we need to meet the old dirty bastard. Yeah. Right. Of the wild. chopper game. Drills is wild. He wild. Um, but outside of that, man, everybody is, you know, everybody separately is crazy individuals in their own way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So which makes us. If we would think of a wild group to put us in, we it would be Wu Tang. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, last week we talked about um, the beef between Maniac Dre mm. and mm -hmm. Lil Scooter. Right. What I mean is it a lot of that going on if within Baltimore hip hop from out from the outside looking in, you guys seem pretty much together. Like you know, you right. guys are. Uh, a unit. Right. Y'all all moving together. Y'all mm -hmm. all working well together. Mm -hmm. But is this what, are you, what is your perspective on the Baltimore rap artists and how do you see yourself fitting with that? My perspective on the Baltimore rap artists. The, the thing with Baltimore is when you put um, a group of guys, you know what I mean black guys, you know what I'm saying? You put a group of guys that are from this city, this city is already the city of the crab, you know? Right. We are already known for bringing each other down. Uh -huh. So, at a time like this, you know, where everything with the police is is killing humans for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Regular just killing us for no reason. At a time like this, when we all should really be getting together. Baltimore ain't known for that, and now it's starting to be where we starting to really show each other love. Right. 
shows wise people are coming out you know what i mean different situations people are coming out so when you when you see that and you feel that there's no reason to beef you know what i'm saying so when i do an outlook on it everybody respect my squad because everybody respect me right you know what i'm saying and you've been out with me before yeah you know I, what think I'm saying? I get love you. from yeah. everybody because i show love to everybody so the maniac dre that's my bro you right. know what I mean? Lil Scooter, I don't really know you like that, but shout out to Yo because he doing his thing too. But some right. people Little are rappers crazy in the and some people song. are street. Okay, hold on. Before we go any further, <laughs> we're going to wrap this up for a second and we'll bring it right back. It's your girl, Chanel Nicole. Shamika Chantel. Shout out. Radio. And Chapo. <laughs> I can't forget him. <laughs>